before starting this video, I really, really have to show you the sunset that I'm witnessing right now. It's 10.30 p.m. in Ireland and look at this. is enough for this particular video. My name is Helen and I'm a Mexican that lives in Ireland. I've been here for two years. Whew. I'm a little scared to start this video because I actually have no clue how to do it. I kind of wish I didn't have to make this video it's not really that I have to, but I really want to because I seen a meme a week ago that show what it would be like in 10 years time for our generations and basically, like if I were to have a kid, they'll be like Fires in Australia? A global pandemic? Protest for Black Lives Matter? Where were you, mom? What were you doing? Yeah, that's how I would feel like. You're entitled to have your opinion, whatever that is. It's way too many people out there for everyone to think the same. That's like obvious statement, but it's necessary to say it because sometimes people don't realize not everyone thinks the same and has the same ideas. Some people just rather be silent and don't get in trouble and don't get involved. And that is valid. But today I decided to get involved. I don't know if it's good, I don't know if it'll be bad. I know right now it's not about me, but, uh, racism, such a hard topic. I personally wanted to share if I have experienced it or not. Since I have traveled to numerous countries, I think I can say, I can share my experiences. So, there is one particular case that I can think of, and this goes back 10 years. My first time traveling solo, I took an exchange to Michigan in the United States. I was so open-minded and I loved it. I remember that during that experience, one time I mentioned that I was an exchange student and a man asked me where I was from. So I said it, I said Mexico, Mexico, and the way the man reacted was not the nicest. I remember he said, I heard they have a lot of guns there. Why would I be your first comment from meeting a Mexican person? Like, I got the second comment once saying, in Michigan as well, I actually believe we were traveling somewhere, I can't remember, but it was like a exchange students group traveling situation. Um, we were buying a sweater. I remember this so vividly for some reason. I was with my friend from Michigan and we were buying a sweater. She wanted this specific type of like Guanajuatenses sweaters. It's from my state in Mexico. And they're lovely, like they're gorgeous and different. So it did set me from Mexico and my friend bought it. So I went with her to the till and I felt so proud that she was getting something from my country. So when the lady at the till ringed the sweater, I vividly remember her saying, quote it, Oh, lovely sweater. It does come from Mexico though. 
so you might have to double wash it these feel harsh but more than anything to me it was confusing why would the person say that uh, I always try to stay really really positive and think the best in people so I wouldn't really get mad I wouldn't answer back my friend said she's from Mexico and the lady turned red and she said D don't get me wrong it does has beautiful beaches um, there's that and now we can start with the quotes who are we as human beings if we ignore the suffering of others. Empathy is one of the values that I respect the most. You do realize actually gives you something because you feel amazing helping others. Quote number two. You don't fight racism with racism. You fight racism with unity. I don't think I need to say more. Next quote. <laughs> I love this one. It must be my favorite. It is the last one. Please savor it. And if you're religious, maybe you'll even get a further meaning behind it. God created our skin tones with beautiful variety, but all of our souls are the same color. Guys, Life is too short. Those comments that I told you about, that I received, were 10 years ago. I was only 16 and I couldn't understand better. But today I stand here and I'm 26 and I see the world different. And I wanna believe I'm more mature than before and more grown up. And I invite you to just stop the negativity Seek help if you need it. Smile every day is contagious. And um, I really hope you take something from this video. I always, I'm gonna try to be so positive in my channel. That's what I really want. Thank you immensely for watching till the end. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Please keep posting if you want to see more. Subscribe, it helps me a lot. I make videos on DIYs and adventures with my dog Django. But right now, this video, as I said, is dedicated to what the world needs to hear right now. Stay safe.